understanding the probability of a single event can be interesting. But where things get really fun is where we can explore multiple possible outcomes of a single event or multiple events occurring simultaneously. We need to learn how to explore the relationships of probability. And that is what we're going to do now. To examine relationships of probability, we need to be able to visualize events. How can we visualize the flip of a coin, the roll of the die, or whether or not you make a sale when you go out on a sales call? For all of these visualizations of statistical experiments, we're going to use a Venn diagram. A Venn diagram depicts similarities and differences between sets of things. A Venn diagram will begin with a rectangle. The rectangle represents a sample space. These are all of the possible outcomes that could occur. In the case of the flip of a coin, it would represent heads and tails. Those are the only outcomes that could occur. In the case of the rolling of a die, it would represent one through six. And in the case of making a sales call, the rectangle of the Venn diagram would represent made the sale or did not make the sale. In addition to the rectangle, your Venn diagram will also contain at least one circle. The circle is a sample point or an outcome. In the case of making a sales call, the hoped for outcome is that you made the sale. The relative size of the circle could indicate a smaller or greater probability of this event occurring within your sample space. In order to depict relationships of multiple events, your Venn diagram will contain at least two circles. Overlapping circles indicate that these two events share some outcomes in common. On the other hand, if your Venn diagram contains two circles that do not overlap, that tells you that there are no shared outcomes in these two events. For instance, heads and tails. There are no circumstances in which you can get both heads and tails. There are no shared outcomes between those two outcomes. And now, using the example of rolling a single die, let's look at how events can be notated. Event A is rolling either a 1 or a 6. The notation would be the 1, 6 in brackets. For event B, rolling an even number, the notation would be 2, 4, 6 inside of brackets. And for event C, rolling a 2 or a 5, the notation would be 2 comma 5, again, inside of brackets. Let's look more at these relationships between events, starting with just one event. The complement of an event, written as A superscript C, includes all of the outcomes that are not in event A. Given our sample space, of one die having six sides or six possible outcomes, we want to calculate the probability of event A, which is rolling a one or a six. The complement of A would be any value that is not a one or a six. In this case, two, three, four, and five. And as you can imagine, if you add the probability of A, to the probability of the complement of A, those two probabilities must add up to one. Now, sometimes you have relationships between variables in which they share specific outcomes. And this is called a union. The union includes all outcomes that are in A or B or both. Event A is rolling a 1 or a 6. Event B is rolling a 2, a 4, or a 6. In other words, rolling an even number. What is the union of A and B? What is the overlap? Outcomes that are in both A and B. In A, we have 1 and 6. In B, we have 2, 4, and 6. Therefore, the union is 1, 2, 4, and 6. 
In the union example, we were considering all possible outcomes in all events. What about outcomes that are specific to both events? That is called an intersection. An intersection includes all outcomes that are in both A and B. Event A is rolling a 1 or a 6. Event B is rolling an even number, 2, 4, or 6. What is the intersection of these two events? What are outcomes that are in both? And as we can see, there is only one outcome that is common to both of these events, and that is the value of 6. 6 is the intersection of A and B. I'm going to teach you some mathematical formulas for unions and intersections. Let's be sure we understand how those formulas will be discussed. A union of events will use the word OR. The intersection of events will use the word AND. And we are going to discuss more about the relationships between events in our next video.